The idea of all the ice on Earth melting might sound like science fiction, but it's not. Scientists have already recorded massive ice loss. In just a few decades, our planet has lost over 28 trillion tons of ice, and the melting is only speeding up. If this continues, the consequences could be catastrophic. Cities underwater, coastlines redrawn, entire ecosystems wiped out. But what does this mean for our world? What would happen if all the ice melted? How much time do we have left? In this video, we'll explore the shocking reality of what's at stake and what Earth could look like if we don't act. If all the ice on Earth melted, one of the most immediate and dramatic consequences would be rising sea levels. Scientists estimate that sea levels could rise by as much as 230 feet, that's over 70 meters. This would completely submerge some of the world's most iconic cities. New York, London, Shanghai, Mumbai, all underwater. Entire coastlines would vanish and hundreds of millions of people would be forced to relocate. The result? A global refugee crisis, massive economic shifts, and the collapse of coastal infrastructure as we know it. It wouldn't just change where we live, it would change how the world works. As sea levels rise, small island nations would be the first to disappear. Places like the Maldives, Tuvalu, and Kiribati, already struggling with rising tides, could be completely submerged. But it's more than just losing land. These islands are home to unique cultures, traditions, and communities that have existed for generations. When an island vanishes, so does its history, its language, and its way of life. Entire nations could become stateless, with nowhere to go and no land to return to. It's a powerful reminder that the effects of climate change aren't just environmental, they're deeply human. The melting of Earth's ice wouldn't just reshape coastlines, it would disrupt the planet's natural balance. One of the biggest shifts? Ocean currents. These massive currents act like a global climate engine, moving heat and energy around the world. But if enough ice melts, that engine could stall. The Gulf Stream, for example, could weaken or even shift course, dramatically changing the climate of Europe and North America. Some regions might face brutal winters, while others suffer extreme heat waves or drought. Crops could fail, ecosystems could collapse, and entire regions might become unlivable. As sea levels rise and ocean currents shift, marine life will face unprecedented challenges. Coral reefs, already weakened by warming waters, could be pushed to the brink of extinction. Many marine species depend on very specific conditions to survive, from the temperature of the water to the flow of nutrients and oxygen. When those conditions change, entire populations can collapse. Fish migrations may shift. Breeding cycles could fail. And once a species disappears, the impact ripples through the entire ocean food chain. This isn't just an environmental loss. It affects global fisheries, food supplies, and economies that rely on healthy oceans. The polar regions, Arctic and Antarctic, hold most of Earth's ice. If all that ice melted, these frozen frontiers would be completely transformed. What were once endless icy landscapes would become vast stretches of open water. The polar bear, the penguin, and countless other species would lose their homes, pushed to the edge of extinction. But it's not just wildlife at risk. Indigenous communities who have lived in balance with these ecosystems for generations would face the loss of their culture, their food sources, and their entire way of life. This isn't just environmental change, it's a human and cultural crisis too. As the ice disappears, something else changes. Earth's albedo. That's the planet's ability to reflect sunlight. White ice reflects heat back into space. But dark ocean water, it absorbs it. Less ice means more heat, and a warmer planet. 
This extra heat fuels extreme weather, stronger hurricanes, longer droughts, and more frequent floods. Our cities, farms, and power grids aren't built for this. Societies around the world would struggle to keep up, forcing massive investments in technology, infrastructure, and survival strategies. It's a feedback loop that accelerates climate chaos. It's easy to think of melting ice as just more water, but not all water is the same. Glaciers are one of the world's most important sources of fresh water. As they vanish, so do the rivers and lakes they feed. Millions of people depend on glacial melt for drinking water, agriculture, and daily life. Regions like South Asia, the Andes, and parts of Africa could face devastating water shortages. Without glaciers, crops fail, food prices soar, entire communities are forced to relocate. The loss of ice could turn a water-rich region into a dry and desperate one, threatening both lives and livelihoods. The melting of Earth's ice isn't just about rising seas or vanishing glaciers. It's about the world we leave behind, for our children, for vulnerable communities, for every living thing on this planet. We're already seeing the warning signs, but the full picture? That's still up to us. This future isn't set in stone. With action, global cooperation, innovation, and awareness, we can slow the melt and protect what remains. Because in the end, this isn't just about saving ice, it's about saving ourselves.